Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about the instance drop. First we'll be seeing about the basic layout of the instance drop that is also called as the INST top. Then we'll see what are the important files and directories that are there in the instance drop. So if you see the directory structure of instance drop, you can see that it is there in FS1 or FS2 file system. So which means once you go to the base directory of Oracle Business Suite application tier, you basically see FS1, FS2. And inside FS1 and FS2, you can see the INST top or the INST directory. So both run file system and the patch file system has the instance directory, the INST directory. So what does it contain basically? So it contains one of the most important files of the application tier that is the context file. So the context file, as we have discussed it several times before, is one of the most important configuration files or it's a collection of the configuration of the EBS application tier. Both the database and application tier has one context file each. And on the application tier, the context file is located in the instance top. You can access this context file directly by using the variable environment variable dollar context underscore file. Previously, this was there in Apple top admin in the older versions, but from release 12, that has been now moved to INST top. And in instance top, lot of configuration files were which are modified by autoconfig which is nothing but the configuration management tool were there previously in INST top but from release 12.2 only 10.1.2 that is internet application server IAS IAS 10G for forms and relate forms and reports home only these related configuration files are now present in instance top the most important thing that is there in the instance top is the startup and shutdown scripts. In the next lessons, we'll be seeing how to start and stop services of Oracle Business Suite. And these scripts to start and stop the services of application tire are present in the instance top. And also all the related log files of the startup and shutdown are also located in the instance top. Now let us log in into the server. As you can see here, I have now logged into the application tier as APPLMGR user, which is the owner of my application tier file system. Now, first thing what I'll do is to go to the base directory. Let's say my environment is test environment here and the base directory is user one test. So first I'll set the environment. If I'm setting the environment of run and if I'm giving eco dollar INST underscore top, you can see that it is there in FS1 INST apps and then context name directory. So let's go to FS1. You can see here INST directory. And the only directory under INST is apps and only directory under apps is the context name directory. And this is nothing but your instance top. So if you see the path here, this is the path. So under instance top, as I told before, we have scripts, for example, so if I give admin scripts home, this is also one important environment variable, which we can use to access the Ebsen Suite startup and shutdown scripts for application tire. And if you see this, you can also see that these are located in INST top is till here. Under that there is admin scripts. So you can directly go to admin scripts home. And you can see that all these scripts are basically use it to start and stop the services in application tier. And also I have told previously that the most important file of the application tier, the consolidated configuration file of application tier is also called as the context file is also located in the INST top. So if you see here under INST top APPL admin, you can see the context file. These are some of the important files and directories that are there in the instance top. Now, if I, I have set basically the environment of file system one, that is the run file system, you can see that the context file or basically the INST top is located in FS1. Now, let us try to do, let us try to set the environment of the patch file system. If you go to the test environment, again, test based directory and set the patch file system. 
and if you give echo dollar ion history and score top you can see that it is now pointing to fs2 so both fs1 and fs2 have basically the ion history directory so to, to to confirm it you can simply give first see the path and give ls fs1 you can see here ion history directory and similarly give ls fs2 you can see here ion history as well so both the file system will have the ion history directory